Greetings fellow men, servus Männer, it's Red Pill Germany again and today I want to do a channel shout out and the channel that I'm reviewing is Beaten Husband, the Beaten Husband channel. Now I have been binge watching his videos in the recent days and I really like his material. He is a guy who is currently married with a child of his own and a couple of stepchildren living uh, with his wife and he has been awakened while married and watched a lot of MGTOW channels, uh, digested the red pill and wants to get out of this abusive marriage that he is stuck in. So the title of the channel, Beaten Husband, is actually not uh, symbolic or something. <laughs> it is quite literal. I mean, he is suffering from narcissistic abuse coming from his wife and um, he got beaten up in the past and the danger of being beaten up again by her is still always around as he says. Now the first question is of course always how do these men stay in these relationships and you could say the same about women right why do women stay together with abusive men. The fact that he as a kung fu master for example is um, much uh, stronger than her physically uh, has really nothing to do with that and if you uh, know about um, narcissists and their targets um, and there seems to be a disposition in uh, personality and character as he hints to. He comes from a martial arts background so he is really uh, used to taking hits, to enduring pain and a lot of men do. He says for example he is a people pleaser and I also uh, found myself in former times at least to be someone who wants to please everyone all the time and to not rock the boat, to not um, uh, um, get my own uh, will or something, uh, but to uh, try to uh, be servile, try to uh, be a good boy, so to speak. Uh. So anyway, I hope that uh, digesting the red pill, thanks to a lot of great MGTOW content providers, um, cured him of that disposition or at least uh, makes it more practical uh, now to live uh, with this personality and he is actually working out the escape plan from his marriage at the very moment maybe in the next month so if you sub subscribe to his channel you can maybe actually see the divorce of uh, this uh, man unfolding more or less live so I myself uh, was uh, involved with a narcissist once and I just you know I I just had much less tolerance for all this nagging and all this abuse and at a certain point I just didn't play her games anymore and actually she broke up with me then because um, I just didn't pay for her I mean I'm a German I don't pay for shit um, so I pay for my own stuff and I expect her to pay for her own shit not on anniversaries maybe but um, there is a um, limit to what I'm willing to spend for another person just for nothing in return and that made her really um, yeah tired of me uh, and then she just um, dumped me and went on to the next sucker that was actually lucky for me back then I was heartbroken of course <laughs> but I did not ever compromise on my principles and this is why this channel is also interesting for me I can see how it might have gone had I given in to my ex-girlfriend and um, just played along and tried to pacify her all the time and um, have her get her way all the time, you know. Would have cost me a lot of money, I couldn't have studied at the university probably, so my career would have been sabotaged before it had actually taken off and all these things. So um, it just uh, shows us once more that you should stay away from women in general maybe but especially women like that yeah? and of course uh, narcissists exist uh, with both uh, sets of genitalia of course there are male and female narcissists but uh, as uh, this is the manosphere here of course uh, we um, are focusing on the female narcissists and also what a beaten husband can actually tell us from a first-hand experience is that women get help from society if they come out as a victim. Men however get ridiculed and there are no uh, safe houses or whatever, there are no government programs, there are no community programs, there is nothing 
men just have to pay the bill and they get ridiculed and no one believes them and if uh, then they then people say well you're not a real man or what whatever right so um, women and men suffer from the problem however women are believed normally they they people listen to them and they get help and the man if he beats a woman i mean we all know what happens to men who beat women yeah right but um what if a man says he gets a physical abuse from a woman i mean he's normally ridiculed and i think no judge in the world will probably do something about that so i really hope that he gets uh, full custody of his son and i hope that it is actually his son <laughs> because that's what he wants and um yeah uh, i wish you the best of luck brother so beaten husband actually strikes me as a very analytical methodical and smart guy who tackles the problems from various angles and uh, reached a really high state of self-awareness, I think. He analyzes his situation very soberly. Uh, sometimes his anger peeks through, but, well, if you uh, are familiar with this situation after seeing his videos, you will understand that. So, um, the points he touches upon are um, narcissists and all the red flags that will probably help you to stay away from them and uh, if you don't know that already from many MGTOW channels of course uh, this is actually a great resource to spot all these red flags so he goes uh, into various examples and I just like personal stories so much when you listen to these videos you get a really detailed picture of um, this whole situation yeah, that he is in with his wife. So what is uh, mentioned for example is financial abuse yeah, that she controls the spending she spends too much and she makes him work all around the clock. Then uh, for example sleep deprivation that is a torture technique actually she makes sure that he never gets a good night of sleep while she of course has a lot of leisure time and this is how she controls him by um, actually weakening him and making him so weak and so um, fragile, so to speak, mentally from all the sleep deprivation and all the work that he just becomes malleable, that he says yes to whatever she demands, whatever she says. Yeah. Of course, also gaslighting, lots of verbal abuse, and then in the end even physical abuse. It goes without saying that by the example of his wife topics like paternity fraud, monkey branching and hypergamy unleashed are actually topics that uh, can be really well discussed here on this channel and it's really nice to see how um, a guy digests the red pill and can apply all the MGTOW red pill knowledge to his own situation and actually come up with a plan to turn his life around and I wish him the very very best and I hope you do too so uh, please um, all like and subscribe to his channel if you're interested uh, in this or if you can relate to um, narcissists and their victims and this whole problem complex like I do and be supportive so all enjoy the rest of your day and thanks for watching Servus Kameraden